Last Wednesday, we found out Toto has broken one of his teeth. We found it out while we were brushing Toto's teeth, and suddenly he cried very hard. And we stopped and checked. You can see it's pretty bad. Not only the tip of the tooth is broken, the palp is exposed, but also the tooth itself is actually broken into two halves. Uh, they are still look like one, it's just because um, I think both of them goes up into the gum, so that, that's, what, that's why they still look intact. But you can see a very slight black line there crossing the entire tooth. The good thing is, Toto doesn't seem to be affected too much by this, at least not that we can notice. He is still very energetic, he eats well, he runs as usual, he sleeps as usual, so that gives us a big relief. However, our vet closes on Thursday and Friday, that means we have to wait at least until Saturday to get Toto checked up by our vet. While we're waiting, we also called every animal dentist that we can find online to see if there are earlier slots from there. Eventually, the earliest appointment we can find is the following Tuesday. So the plan is to go to the vet first and then visit this animal dentist. We were able to see our local vet um, on the, that Saturday. The vet told us it's very common for dogs to fracture their teeth and Toto broke his fourth premolar tooth, which again is a very common tooth that dogs can break because it's a functional tooth that dogs use to break and bite off hard stuff. Next, we visit the dentist. You can see Toto is pretty sensitive about that side of teeth. Yeah, he's, uh, I feel like he knows something wrong is there. The dentist told us the same thing. It's a complicated tooth fracture case. They offer two options for treatments, root canal and tooth extraction. Root canal is the more complicated one. It requires your tooth to meet a certain condition. And also only the dentist can perform this procedure. But in the end, your dog gets to keep the tooth. Whereas for tooth extraction, it's much simpler. Your vet can perform that as well. Basically, it's pulling the tooth out of the mouth. Of course, in the end, your dog would permanently lose the tooth. For our case, both the vet and the dentist told us it's unlikely we could do the root canal. I'll explain why later. But basically, we decided to go with the tooth extraction with our vet because they actually have an opening for surgery on that Wednesday. This means we can get this done within a week after we found out the broken tooth. And we figure it's always better to get treated earlier rather than later. For tonight, we need to feed Toto some extra food before midnight because we're not supposed to feed any type of food after midnight until the surgery is done. Since we found out Toto has a broken tooth, we have been using the water to soften the dog food so that he doesn't have to chew the dog food. Okay, it's surgery day. We're supposed to drop Toto off at our local vet at 9 a.m. in the morning. But before that, we were told to give Toto the sedative drugs prescribed by our vet two hours before the surgery. So that's 7 a.m. The drug is supposed to be calming the dog down before the surgery. You can see we break yes. the drug. The drug is a really big tablet, so we break it into three pieces uh, and we use peel pockets to hide the drugs inside oh so that Toto will take it all. Peel pockets oh. really handy. Um, it basically, it's a soft moldable treat that you can wrap yes. around the drug. So when you give it to the dog, the dog would, would think that he is eating the treat. That works out for Toto pretty good. Of course, the drug takes time to kick in, so that gives Toto still some time to enjoy his morning routine, which is basically zooming around the house tirelessly. After a while, the drug is taking effect, and I think Toto is feeling it. It's probably 
a little bit sleepy as well. Okay, time to head to the vet. This is a very mellow version of Toto right now. Usually when he knows we will go out, he gets super excited. I guess we don't mind he being a little bit mellow and calm. It's very rare for him to be like this. Now, another major reason why we went with tooth extraction is, remember I said that in order for root canal to be successful, you have to meet a certain conditions. Well, one of them is the part of the tooth in the gum has to be intact and complete. For Toto's case, actually his tooth is split into two halves. And based on the examination, both our vet and the dentist says it's very likely the split goes all the way up into the gum as well. If that's the case, then the root canal is gonna be very complex and chances are we have to go back for tooth extraction afterwards. I mean, they are not 100% sure they have to do the x-ray to confirm, but we figure it's probably just easier to go with the tooth extraction directly. Both our vet and dentist reassured us many times that it's very normal for dogs to lose one or two teeth, sometimes all of them, but it won't affect the dog's daily lives. That makes us feel much better towards the tooth extraction procedure. Now we arrived at the local vet and Toto is getting excited again. It's kind of incredible to see even with the sedative drugs, Toto can still get that excited in a new environment. I'm not sure if that's just what Toto is or it's, it's like this for every dog. But he's like a little explorer that has to keep going until he discovers everything in his sight. Even for the vet, because we visited a couple times, so it's not exactly a new environment, but I guess it's infrequent enough that he has to just sniff everywhere and now he just picks up some food on the ground because he hasn't eaten for quite a while. I guess he's super hungry. The assistant just gave us the water and a giant bed for Toto to play with. And now we're into the discussion, the final discussion before the surgery. Obviously, Toto would like to join the conversation as well, so he immediately talks to the assistant. But I guess he figured out that it looks like the bed is more interesting, so that's where he went. Now the assistant is explaining the detailed procedure and the cost to us. Basically, the first step is uh, the blood work, which is to make sure the dog is okay to be put under anesthesia. And then they're going to do the anesthesia. After that, they're going to do the x-ray to examine not only the broken tooth, but the entire mouth. The next step is to perform dental cleaning, which is an extra step because our vet told us that he is under anesthesia anyway. We might as well perform dental cleaning so that they, he doesn't need to be put under again next time. The last step is the tooth extraction. They also told us that if they find anything else during the procedure, such as another tooth that needs to be extracted, they're going to give us a call to make the decision. The whole procedure takes around five hours, so they should be done around two to three o'clock. But it takes time for Toto to wake up from the anesthesia. They also have to monitor his status, so we will pick him up around 6 o'clock in the evening, so if everything goes well. It's well, because it's, just it's time to go. Yeah, Toto seems can't wait. Sounds good. We are obviously a little bit worried, right. but everybody has been telling us that this procedure is very standard and very common, so hopefully everything will go well. Okay, thanks for watching such a long video. Uh, we really just want to share the whole experience. In the next video, we're going to talk about picking up Toto, his surgery, and what happens after the surgery. Spoiler alert, the surgery did go very well, and Toto feels pretty good now, and we are also very happy. We'll see you in the next video.